Hi, it's Kit with SV Jader. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a marching ants animation of a stroke path using its offset and dashes properties. So let's jump right in. So let's start this from scratch. And let's start by adding a few elements that we're going to work with. I'm going to this plus icon to open the library. And let's choose something from symbols. I'm going to choose this triangle and I need a line. This one. Great. Now let's bring them all to the center. If you try to readjust the size of the line using the select tool, it will maintain the stroke properties. As you can see, the scale and line width are not affected. Now, if you use the transform tool and drag it around, like this, it will affect the scale of the line. As you can see, it affects the width of the line every time I move it. So let me undo that, do this step, and keep adjusting it slightly by using the Select tool. Something like this. Select the Transform tool. You can see the origin point is here, so I'm going to place it in the center for that. And you can manually put it here or you can click on this icon. Now let's also place it exactly in the center of the canvas and place our triangle here. Center the origin of the triangle, then hold shift before dragging it, that will scale it. Great. I'm also going to increase the width of my line here in the input. A shortcut here is using the up and down arrows on your keyboard. I will press the up arrow to increase the width. There, that'll work just fine. All right, we now right click and duplicate this triangle and place it right over here. Now, let's quickly change the colors of the triangles. We'll make this one green. And for this triangle, Let's go with orange. There. Okay, I want to now place the line in the back. And to do that, I just drag it down here in the elements list. And let's set a gradient for the line. We're going to start from green, the exact same green of the triangle. To grab this green easily, I'll select the green triangle, double click on the hex value here, and copy it. Go back to the line, select Stroke, go to the first color handle, and double click the hex value. Then I'll just paste in the hex numeral that I just copied from before. For the orange, we do the exact same thing. Select the orange triangle, find the fill color, double click and copy the hex value. Then, like before, go back to the line, select Stroke, Select the other color handle, double click, and paste. Awesome. Now for the marching ant effect. We're going to set the dash array. I will use 30 for dashes. That's the length of each dash, and 15 for the gap. Uh, maybe 20. That looks better. At this point, you can also play with these style options. You can see how these effects change the style of the dashes. I'm going to use these rounded ends for the dashes. OK. Now we're all set with the line selected. Go to Animators and choose Stroke Offset. The first keyframe is set here. Drag this to the 3 second mark. Here at the Offset Properties, you can increase the number here to move the dashes. As I raise the number, you can already see the line moving. We'll go ahead and try 40 as the offset input and see how it looks. You press play. Okay, it's moving, but a little slower than I'd like. To speed things up, I'm going to put a higher value here. Let's go with 160 and check it again. Okay, that's better, but I want the dashes to move in the opposite direction and have the dashes move from left to right. So in this case, because the line is symmetrical, and I have the origin in the center, 
I can simply click on this button, flip on horizontal axis, and it flips the dashes to travel in the desired direction. Oh, also, since I flipped the line, I have to go back and invert the colors of the gradient, but that's easy to do. There. Now, make sure you have infinite iterations checked here under options. Check that, and let's take a look at the preview. It looks good, but you know what? There's a glitch after the third second. Did you see it? Well, really it's just the timeline resetting every three seconds because the timing of the animation doesn't quite sync up. Because the last frame doesn't sync with the first frame, it looks like there's a little bit of a glitch in the loop. Luckily, there's a simple way to fix it. To do that, go to the start, or the zero second, where the animation begins, and notice how much this first dash comes out from the triangle. To mark that, I'm going to drag in a guideline from the left ruler and place it right here at the edge of the first dash. Then I'm going to drag the playhead to the three second mark and see the difference. To sync this up, I have to fit the first dash to be at the same position to mimic the first dash from the zero second frame. To do that, I'm going to select the stroke and go down to the offset property and decrease the value until the first dash lines up with the guideline. Perfect. So now if we review it, it should be just right. And as you can see, the loop doesn't have any more glitches. You see, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.